Gordon Creek Falls. Gordon Creek Railroad Trestle. up everyone, minor biker here. Just west of the city of Price, Utah. Dropping into Gordon Creek. So Wendy, coming down here to check out Gordon Creek Falls. Among other things we'll get to on this ride, that's the first part. Down here to Gordon Creek Falls. We're gonna check out some cool railroad history and work our way back towards Price finishing out on the Country Club trails. quite that much of a grunt. Oh well. Oh, there's falls, it seems. I think the lower falls, I think there's a smaller upper falls. Not sure if I'll ride up to that one or not. Let's see. That's the Gordon Creek Falls down there. Obviously we'll get closer, but kind of a cool little viewpoint from here. That is pretty. A little dirty right now because of the runoff, but absolutely gorgeous. Gordon Creek Falls. That right, Gordon Creek Falls is pretty cool. Super pretty. Imagine later in the year when the water's clean, it's probably even prettier.
<sighs> All right, this main road now. Just paddling around the corner here a little bit. But well, it should be pretty cool. There she is. Gordon Creek Railroad Trestle. This is the Gordon Creek Railroad Trestle on the Utah Railway. Ran out to the mining towns of Hiawatha and Moreland further to the south. They are, have been closed for quite some time and this section of the railway has not been used for at least a few decades, I think. But it is not officially listed as abandoned. Tracks are all still in place. It's built in the early 1900s by the Utah Railway. Super cool big steel trestle. That would be really something to be able to see coal trains rumbling across that thing. Here we are now down and right in the bottom of the canyon where the creek goes underneath the trestle. I think it's tall. It's crazy how tall it is. Got these big all these concrete footings and just kind of concrete reinforcement for the rock wall of the canyon there. Keep that from crumbling down. And you got these massive piers down here in the bottom where the creek goes through. You got that big retaining wall they built right there. Keep the floods from undercutting that tower. That'd be so cool to watch a train go over that. I wonder if there's any old videos of trains crossing this. I'll have to try and find one. If I do find one, maybe I'll throw it in here. That would be so cool to see a train go across that thing. Fascinating, especially considering I think it's like 100, 100 ish years old. I mean, it's been around a long time. It's all riveted steel. That right there tells you it's pretty old. Back before they welded stuff, it's all riveted together. Now we're up the top of the canyon. It's cut air to the left is what the tracks run through as they approach the trestle from the north. I'm trying to see if I can get out here where I can see the trestle from above. Might all be blocked off. Oh no, we can get it. Oh yeah. Oh, so there's the trestle from above. tracks approaching it through this cut coming from the north and off to the south towards where Hiawatha and Moreland and a couple other mines but those are the main two ones that this line served. Now we're just cruising the road back towards town and the country club trails we're going to check out. Got some train cars here, tankers. So the track from helper and carbonville to just the north side of that trestle is still used everything beyond that to the south is not officially abandoned but not used and hasn't been for quite some time this stretch to here is used just north of here where i'm at there's a big loadout where they load gas and oil out of all the wells out here as well as coal from some of the mines on the trains just north of here and then just this stretch of track for a little way south of that loadout is just usually to store cars like we can see here with all these tanker cars and from Provo Utah Railway built up Spanish Fort Canyon just parallel along Denver and Rio Grande's line Utah Railway built their own line all the way over to Helper, and then they peel off of the Denver and Rio Grande route to come out through this area to access these coal mines out here. I love history like that. I like railroad history just as much as I like mining history. 
It's all fascinating. Plus it's so intertwined because usually the railroad's built to where the mines were. But it's very interrelated. We got little lemmies. Lots of sheep out here. All right, we made it back to some trails. Don't think these ones get ridden a whole lot. <laughs> Similar to a lot, of, a lot of the bike trails around Price. That's a fun trails, but they don't get ridden much. <laughs> that reminds me of last year riding the Arizona Trail from North Rim to Utah. We got to the last several miles. It got pretty, pretty deserty and stuff. It reminds me a lot of that. Hey, Jeff, sheep, get off my trail. Hey, dogs. What up, dogs? So nice of them to run sheep out here and tear the completely uh, destroy the trails. Now little lemmies. This isn't forest service, but I imagine this probably be a lamb up here. I would say that the forest national forest service really should be named the National Grazing Pasture. That's usually what it is, first and foremost. Kind of reminds me of good water ram too. Especially here traversing along the side of this little canyon.
All right, down with the little three wood trail. Turn on the driver. Obviously, his trail name is golf associated or golf related because of the country club with its golf course, which is right below where these trails are. Breezy over. Sounds like breezy. Hey everybody, yeah. there's a breeze. Woo! Also did not get ridden very much. <laughs> Soft and loose. Looking up towards Carbonville and Helper. Turn around over here at Price. Off along the book cliffs to the southeast and south off into the center fell. How oh, cool view! Different perspective on things. This is cool. I'm gonna slip out the wash. Oh. 
That's pretty cool through there. Come on, there's some big moves to try and go up. <laughs> All right, that's it for Mark Meander. <laughs> Watch that, it's just kind of like me until we get that wash section. That was cool. <laughs> folks there you have it hope you enjoyed that adventure up to gordon creek falls the gordon creek railroad trestle those are both super cool love the waterfall waterfalls are always cool that railroad trestle was pretty fascinating and amazing 100 year old engineering i love seeing that kind of stuff especially being an engineer myself by profession so cool and then catching these little country club trails on the way back nothing super exciting they're still they're fun but just kind of just meandering trails through the cedar trees until we got that last bit of uh, mark's meander there where it came through that wash with all those rock rock drops and stuff like that that was way cool so that was a good little high note to finish on so anyways thanks so much for watching make sure to check out other videos that will be linked in the cards like good water rim and the arizona trail that some sections of this reminded me of make sure to check out other stuff from here in price like riding over at wood hill over there and whatever else i link in the cards in the upper right hand corner make sure to check them out leave us a comment down below like that hit button if you subscribed already thank you so much if you haven't i invite you to do so it means a lot helps a lot check out re bicycles and keep digging up new places to ride and adventure in the great outdoors under your own power is always the best